では帝国となりましたのでただいま The time has come to、uh, start、uh, the session on power and energy field. I will receive explanation of the power and energy business.、Uh, the speaker will be、uh, Koshi Tanaka, Executive Vice President and Executive Officer, CEO of Nuclear Energy Business Unit.、Uh, Mr. Tanaka, please. Uh, my name is uh, uh, Tanaka,、uh, in charge of the Nuclear Energy Business Unit. Uh, the, I have become the CEO of the Senate、uh, from April.、Uh, today, I would like to talk about、uh, the power and energy,、uh, mainly nuclear uh, business, uh, in my presentation today.、Uh, this is the table of contents that I'd like to cover. I would like to start off with the status of power and energy business. Business overview will be presented. Now,、uh, there are three. Uh, business units for 2016, the sales w a s approximately 500 billion yen.、Uh, the breakdown uh, is uh, uh, for uh, the, uh, the power business unit, is accounting for one half, including uh, nuclear en uh, new, uh, renewable energies as well as、uh, energies, uh, nuclear energy is、uh, around 40%, and the energy solutions business unit、uh, is less than 10%. Next, I'd like to talk about、uh, the performance. For 2016,、uh, please look against the initial forecast. Uh, uh, the uh, actual,、uh, in terms of revenues, was、uh, in line.、Uh, in terms of operating income,、uh, compared to initial forecast, I was、uh, exceeded、uh, by 4.1 billion yen.、Uh, for EBIT,、uh, because of、uh, the impairment that we had in the laser uranium,、uh, we had uh, uh, underperformed.、Uh, in terms of、uh, order received as well as、uh, order backlog,、uh, several tens of billion. Uh, uh, um, uh, is how we have received, exceeded the plan. Now,、uh, there has been reorganization、uh, and the、uh, Hitachi plant construction as a result、uh, have、uh, gone to the、uh, nuclear energy unit uh, from uh, the uh, industry and distribution. And uh, therefore, uh, in order to make an apples to apples construction,、um, comparison, uh, Hitachi construction. Uh, consolidated uh, uh, numbers presented on the right uh, hand uh, uh, column. For 2017,、uh, the uh, forecast as well as the plan for 2018 uh, will be presented.、Uh, in terms of、uh, revenues, for 2017 uh, is flat against uh, fiscal 2016. Uh, 2018, uh, because of uh, wind uh, turbine business as well as、uh, Um, uh, the substation business and、uh, overseas business will、uh, re allow us to exceed,、uh, increase by 100 billion. In terms of operating income for 2017, the、uh, unprofitable projects have been improved, and with the cost reduction,、uh, the outlook is、uh, 17 billion. For 2018,、uh, we will increase the、uh, business scale and the、uh, low cost. Uh, especially in the SGA, and、uh, targeting、uh, 44 billion in fiscal year 2018.、Uh, please refer to the business performance trends、uh, in this graph. In terms of uh, 2016, uh, profit margin uh, is uh, improving by 1%, uh, to this point, at 1.8%. And uh, 2017 uh, is uh, expected to be 3.5%. Uh, fiscal year 2018,、uh, we are aiming for 7.5%. Now, in order to、uh, make these improvements,、uh, we have、uh, been promoting、uh, the fixed cost、uh, domestically and、uh, also SGNA. And、uh, for 2017, improvement by 0.4%. Uh, toward 2018,、uh, improvement. Uh, improvement by、uh, 1.4%、uh, will be our goal. In terms of gross margin, on the other hand,、uh, we have been promoting uh, very strongly uh, the uh, reduction in procurement cost as well as uh, uh, cost reduction by models. And by expansion of services, we believe that the gross margin can be increased uh, uh, in this way. For cash, uh, uh, cash generation, Uh, we will be uh, managing uh, the, uh, the improvement of contractual terms as well as uh, uh, cash flow management、uh, will allow us to improve CCC.、Uh, next, I'd like to、uh, move on to talk about the power business and energy solutions business. 
Uh, first of all, part of the Senate, uh, the results for fiscal year 2016 uh, progress will be presented. In terms of uh, uh, wind, uh, we have a top share in Japan. And uh, 5.2 megawatt offshore wind turbine generation system has uh, been developed. We have started testing and uh, commissioning. Uh, with this, uh, in the area of uh, offshore wind turbine, we hope that the revenues can be increased. Uh, now, uh, in the area of transmission and distribution, business structure reforms are making progress as planned. And with further strength, a business uh, foundation has been uh, solidified and uh, we have received uh, increasing orders uh, in China and Southeast Asia. For service uh, business, uh, high pumps, uh, uh, the predictive uh, diagnostic systems is doing very well. High value added services, ratio, uh, target was 16%, uh, but uh, the result uh, was 19% uh, in this year. For thermal power projects, on the other hand, the in order to complete the project, uh, uh, we are continuing cooperation with the NHPS uh, with respect to South Africa. Uh, we are continuing discussions with the uh, MHI, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. Next, uh, moving on to talk about the Energy Solutions Business Unit for fiscal year 2016 results, uh, domestic business uh, uh, includes uh, the uh, backbone system of organization of uh, cross-regional coordination of transmission operations operators in Japan. This is started. And the next generation energy management system uh, is uh, where we have received orders. And between Tokyo and uh, Jubu, uh, the con interconnection project uh, uh, was achieved. And uh, we will be moving uh, towards strengthening the next uh, HVDC uh, system. Uh, as for overseas business, uh, uh, we are making uh, further investments in grid edge uh, in Germany, a uh, demonstrated uh, energy trading and energy generation plan optimization system business. Now, uh, in the area of uh, renewable energy sources uh, in power systems, uh, we have uh, started uh, the uh, grid operator business in Poland and Slovenia. Uh, in Poland, uh, we are utilizing the energy storage uh, technology uh, so that the stable operation of the grid uh, can be realized. Next, moving on to uh, talk about the strategy for the nuclear energy business strategy. Uh, first of all, I would like to talk about uh, the uh, the market as well as the performance. Uh, overall outlook uh, will be explained uh, and then I talk uh, specifically about uh, the domestic and overseas business. Now, in terms of our organizations for the nuclear business, as uh, mentioned here, Hitachi and GE, and uh, the uh, respective subsidiaries, uh, Hitachi GE Nuclear Energy and GE Hitachi Nuclear Energies are working together in terms of uh, uh, a global al alliance structure, uh, pursuing uh, business uh, uh, in Japan as well as overseas. Let's now look at the market environment. In the domestic market, uh, provided that safety is ensured, uh, 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 nuclear power is considered to be a base load uh, power, and uh, five uh, reactors have been restarted uh, since the earthquake occurred in 2011. Uh, therefore, uh, proactive uh, activities are underway to meet the new regulatory standards. Now, in the overseas uh, markets, uh, especially in the UK, where we're making efforts on the part of Hitachi, uh, the UK government uh, is promoting uh, nuclear power to achieve a low carbon energy mix. Uh, in particular, for 2020s, uh, the existing uh, uh, nuclear power plants uh, will become uh, aged, which will be decommissioned. And therefore, our uh, urgent task uh, is uh, to uh, construct uh, new nuclear power plants in the UK. Uh, therefore, for domestic uh, business, uh, we will work very hard to promote uh, uh, restart of uh, uh, the nuclear power plants as well as a response to new regulatory standards and decommissioning of the Fukushima Daiichi will be our focus. For the overseas business, we will make uh, steady progress uh, with the UK's horizon project, minimize risk, uh, and uh, implement the various uh, measures and uh, establish uh, the appropriate uh, framework. Uh, business performance trends for uh, 2017 uh, with the reorganization, Hitachi plant construction uh, is uh, 
being transferred to our uh, nuclear energy business uh, from uh, the industry uh, distribution uh, unit. Uh, therefore, uh, in the 2016 figures, uh, the Hitachi construction consolidated number uh, is uh, presented in, in terms of revenues for apples to apples comparison. For uh, toward uh, 2018, uh, we will continue to expand uh, revenues uh, in a steadfast manner. And uh, in 2020, uh, Horizon uh, will uh, come on stream to make contribution. Uh, we should uh, have a business of revenues of 20, 280 billion, and overseas business should account for 25% at that time. Uh, next on domestic business. For uh, the restart of uh, BWR uh, plants, we are making steady progress uh, with respect to engineering work uh, necessary for compliance with new regulatory requirements and license approval. In order to increase utilization, uh, we are leveraging the IoT platform uh, to achieve integrated management of vast amounts of site information and we're looking uh, to improve plant operational efficiency uh, through collaboration with our customers. <coughs> now, with respect to decommissioning of uh, Fukushima Daiichi, we would like to put you to use our expertise and experience so that customers can utilize our expertise and experience uh, from their discussion and planning stage. Uh, we have concluded agreements with uh, overseas uh, major manufacturers, uh, Riva and Cavendish uh, Nucleus. So we already have arrangements in place to utilize their expertise with respect to fuel cycle business. Uh, we are providing customer support for early completion of Rokasho reprocessing plant and expand uh, uh, orders uh, uh, received for fuel transport and uh, storage uh, casks. <coughs> Now, regarding decommissioning of Fukushima Daiichi, world-class cutting-edge uh, technology uh, is implemented uh, for the inspection of interior of PCV, primary containment vessel. Uh, we have developed a shape-changing robot to examine the interior of uh, PCV. We, uh, for the first time, uh, took photographs of the bottom of the PCV by the robot, and we also uh, had uh, a probing robot uh, successfully recovered after inspection for the first time. Now, uh, to retrieve uh, fuel debris, uh, we developed a full-scale uh, mock-up uh, and uh, fuel debris retrieval technology utilizing laser and watershed, um, as well as a muscular robot for uh, remote operation which has uh, excellent radiation resistance and uh, which can conduct remote operations. Next on Horizon project. <coughs> uh, the uh, nuclear power developer, Horizon Nuclear Power, uh, is located uh, in the UK. It was acquired by Hitachi in 2012. And in May 2016, from Bruce uh, Power, we invited a well-experienced uh, talent, Duncan Hawthorne, as uh, the CEO, who used to be uh, the former CEO of Bruce Power. Under his uh, powerful leadership, uh, business is being uh, vigorously developed. Regarding Horizon project, compared to other overseas nuclear power projects, uh, there are major advantages. Advantage number one is that uh, the design of the reactor is not new, that it boasts uh, excellent operational and construction track record. ABWR is being uh, adopted uh, uh, for that. ABWR is not new, it has track record. And uh, uh, the design uh, is the latest, uh, Generation 3 Plus. It uh, is the only one with the uh, most excellent uh, construction and operational track record. Uh, it offers very good outlook in terms of construction and project management. And we can minimize uh, design delay risks, um, rework uh, risks. And so it offers a very accurate cost outlook and project implementation potential. And the second advantage that the project enjoys is the support from both the Japanese and the UK government. As I said earlier, for the UK, uh, building new nuclear power capability uh, is an urgent issue. And third is. Uh, stable return in the long term. 
Because of uh, CFD contracts for difference arrangement by the UK government, uh, we can expect a stable long-term return from the project. Next, uh, this is the project uh, time schedule. With respect to permits and uh, licensing, by the end of this year, we are expecting to gain GDA, reactor design approval, and uh, EPC and horizon nuclear power structure enhancements are being pursued. Uh, steady progress is being made. And we'll give you details uh, in a moment. FID is planned in 2019. Now, with respect to GDA design approval, uh, it's in the final stages, except for over 300 experts are now engaged uh, in the process. And the way in which uh, Hitachi has responded to this process is highly evaluated uh, by the UK Office for Nuclear Regulation, and they have uh, indicated uh, that the process will be completed as planned. And uh, with respect to uh, government-level consultations between the UK and uh, Japan, in December 2016, Memorandum of collaboration uh, was signed uh, by Minister Seko of Meti and uh, Secretary Clark, and ever since, uh, dialogue between the two governments has been ongoing. Now, what is most crucial for on-time, on-budget uh, power plant uh, construction is, as I said earlier, uh, to adopt ABWR, which boasts uh, uh, the greatest uh, track record, and uh, which is not new and to uh, maximize uh, the use of uh, uh, supply chain and construction method uh, that has a uh, track record. In the case of Horizon, uh, we're going to use uh, uh, suppliers with proven track record in the construction of ABWRs uh, in Japan for key equipment and facilities. Now, uh, in the construction process, if uh, each component is uh, built and assembled uh, locally, uh, it would take time. Welding will take time as well. Uh, it could lead to increased uh, cost uh, and prolonged uh, process. Uh, so uh, in the plant, uh, modules will be assembled uh, first, uh, and they will be installed uh, at the site uh, using large uh, uh, cranes. So for this module construction method, Hitachi has a track record and history of 30 years. We have established uh, know-how and expertise, and we uh, know how to reduce the risk uh, on-site uh, and uh, to reduce uh, the construction process. With respect to EPC, Hitachi, Bechtel, and JZC, the three parties have got together uh, to set up a JOEV consortium called Mentor Newid for EPC work. This uh, joint venture consortium uh, is a combination of efforts by Hitachi, which has track record in ABWR, and uh, Bechtel, which is one of the largest uh, global EPC contractors, which has uh, experience in nuclear power, and uh, JTC, uh, which is highly rated uh, as uh, an excellent project uh, manager. So most uh, powerful partnering was achieved amongst uh, the three parties. And these uh, three powerful members uh, are consolidated into one team. For that to happen, uh, the members involved uh, are uh, engaged in joint work in the UK office so that a unified project management structure can be built. So activity is already underway for that. And in terms of uh, the JV responsibility, uh, three parties, three companies are going to share execution responsibilities with each other. With respect to how we should be strengthening uh, the operational uh, capabilities of uh, Horizon Nuclear Power as planned, uh, we're working uh, with uh, JPC. Uh, which uh, has high utilization rate of 90%, uh, are running up 23 uh, nuclear power uh, plant units uh, in the United States, and as well as Exelon, a U.S. company with uh, excellent track record. And uh, so we now have cooperation uh, alliances with these uh, companies. Uh, and uh, in April, we set up a joint venture, Jexel Nuclear, to further increase the support. And uh, now maintenance uh, plans as well as other plans are being put together by this entity. Uh, next, I would like to talk about uh, our collaboration with GH. 
in terms of cooperation with GEH. Uh, in obtaining GDA for the Horizon project, uh, we are utilizing the resources of GEH uh, so that uh, we can speedily uh, acquire GDA. GEH is contributing on that front. And with respect to GEH uh, business growth uh, for fuel business, uh, scheduled uh, shutdown business and decommissioning and uh, dissolution uh, business, uh, 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 the businesses are being expanded dismantling business there uh, being pursued and expanded. Uh, for overseas uh, business, uh, we would like to uh, turn the UK Horizon project into a success. And based on that, uh, uh, we would like to uh, utilize our expertise uh, to countries promoting construction of new nuclear power plants. Last but not least, uh, by way of uh, summary, uh, we would uh, uh, like uh, to continue to solidify our domestic business as the base. And uh, based on the track record so far overseas, uh, uh, we would like to continue to retain control uh, and uh, forge powerful uh, partnerships uh, to minimize risks uh, so that we can make steady progress in managing risks. That concludes my presentation. Thank you very much. We would now like to open the floor for questions and answers. Uh, in addition, uh, we will have uh, uh, um, Atsushi Oda uh, of uh, the business unit and uh, for nuclear energy, uh, Takehara Hidetoshi uh, will be presenting from the uh, um, power energy, Sekigawa uh, Satoshi will be uh, answering the questions as well. I would like to um, ask you to state your name and affiliation uh, before asking your questions. Now, uh, first question, please. Uh, question. Now, uh, the Horizon project uh, is uh, putting a drag uh, on the stock price uh, of your company. So I have a question on this. Uh, regarding your Horizon uh, project, uh, uh, from three perspectives, I would like to ask you how you are managing the project. Regarding the first point, uh, for Horizon, uh, it uh, is the what is the risk of remaining on the balance sheet and what measures uh, are you implementing in order to overcome this challenge? Uh, second is the following regarding EPC, uh, engineering, procurement, and the construction. Uh, the three companies' uh, uh, allocation responsibility has been mentioned, especially uh, the re allocation responsibility in terms of uh, uh, responsibility as, as well as uh, the construction risk. How is that going to be managed amongst the three parties? Uh, third point uh, is regarding the internal rate of return uh, for this project. And uh, is it possible to consider the withdrawal from the project? And what uh, conditions will enable withdrawal? So those are the three questions uh, regarding risk management uh, of the Horizon project. Now, uh, answer. Horizon project is very significant. And uh, therefore, we are managing risk uh, in detail. Uh, to your first point uh, regarding the balance sheet, uh, basically, uh, we are going to take this off the balance sheet. Uh, that is the plan going forward. Uh, that means that uh, we have to find uh, investors. Currently, uh, we are uh, providing explanations uh, to prospective uh, investors. And uh, uh, some investors, uh, such as uh, uh, utility companies, uh, have shown interest. Uh, therefore, we will continue to promote uh, this effort. And uh, by so doing, we'd like to take uh, the project off balance sheet. Uh, EPC uh, has been mentioned, as already explained, uh, Hitachi, Evecto, and, uh, Ni and G uh, G uh, G JGC are working together. I said that this is the most uh, formidable uh, partnership, but we have a very strong team. Regarding uh, the profitability as well as uh, losses, uh, there will be a joint uh, a responsibility for execution of this uh, project. Uh, therefore, even if there is a lo profit or loss, uh, it will be allocated um, amongst the three parties uh, on a pro rata basis, uh, on a non fault basis. Uh, a responsibility uh, has been set up. For this is a very this is a method that is uh, uh, employed uh, in oil and gas uh, projects. Uh, integrated. Uh, 
method uh, is the best uh, in order to have uh, effective project. Uh, that is the reason why we have adopted this method. Regarding the internal rate of uh, return question, uh, for example, uh, there is a strike price and construction cost from that point of view, uh, if the and I'm sure that you're setting bars, uh, but uh, what is the guideline for this? Uh, even if it's a uh, uh, number, what is uh, the image? And uh, if you show, fall short, uh, is there a possibility of uh, withdrawing? And if so, is it even possible, feasible to uh, withdraw? Answer uh, in in terms of uh, the conditions of pursuing this project uh, uh, is con is uh, uh, considered in the context of the fact that we are uh, a private company, a private sector company. Uh, so we will take the project of sh uh, the balance sheet and the strike balance uh, will be decided uh, and we have to have uh, an appropriate level of uh, profit and it has to be uh, appropriate for the investor as well. Otherwise, it would not be successful as a project. So we have set forth a uh, criteria and uh, we will manage uh, accordingly. And if uh, conditions are not met, uh, we are profit-seeking uh, private sector company. Uh, therefore, management uh, committee as well as board uh, will consider the project uh, in a, the appropriate manner. However, uh, with respect to the pro Horizon project, uh, as already explained, uh, uh, we have a very strong team uh, with a good track record. Uh, we are receiving uh, support and we are expecting support uh, from various parties. Therefore, with we, I believe that uh, we will come up with a reasonable solution amongst the uh, uh, relevant parties. And on our part, we will continue to uh, accumulate uh, uh, what is required to make this uh, successful. Uh, question, uh, you said that uh, if it, the off-balance sheet is not uh, uh, certain and if profitability is not insured, uh, may I understand that FID, uh, will n you will not go beyond the FID? Uh, answer, yes, that is correct. Any other questions? Qu question. I also have a question regarding Horizon Project. Uh, question number one. Page 24 of the inventario. CFD. Uh, contract for a difference. I haven't done my homework. Uh, what kind of support are you gaining from the UK government, I wonder, under CFD? Uh, the uh, sales price is fixed over the long term for power. Rather than leaving it uh, to the market uh, uh, to price uh, the power, uh, the power price uh, or power rate is fixed over the long term and uh, power uh, will be sold at that price. Question, so if there is construction cost, by negotiating with uh, the UK government, you're able to raise the power rate? Well, in order to determine the power rate, we come up with an estimate. It's assessed uh, properly so that the strike price can be arrived at. So so uh, there is a process to determine the strike price uh, that will happen next year. And uh, in the process, we will be discussing with the UK government on conditions. Question. So prior to the construction, the fixed price will be determined. Is that correct? Answer, yes. Question. My second question, a follow-up question to the earlier one. Uh, the project seems to be very difficult uh, from various perspectives. China and Japan. Uh, Elsewhere, uh, new reactors are successfully being built, but in the United States and Europe, because of very stringent regulation, uh, the building of uh, reactors is not proceeding successfully. And of course, uh, track record may be fine, but it could be affected uh, by the locality. So uh, construction conditions uh, and requirements in the UK, not that I'm well versed in those, but globally speaking, uh, most of the uh, nuclear power plants are gone in the early 2000s, so the project seems to be rather precarious and uh, scary from our perspective. Uh, but are there any uh, reasons or rationale as to why you think that the project uh, will be successful? Answer. Uh, the ones being uh, built in the U.S., uh, regulation has been strengthened, regulation has been added in the United States. 
Uh, perhaps that is one of the factors, but another is uh, the fact that uh, the reactor in the U.S. Uh, is of uh, new design. If there's a delay upstream, uh, there will be further delays uh, downstream. So a knock-on effect in terms of timeline. I think that is a big uh, factor affecting uh, uh, the construction in the U.S. In the case of Horizon Project, uh, uh, there's track record. As I said, uh, the design of the reactor is not new. And we have to supply all sorts of information to uh, the contractors, construction companies, and we already know what to do. So in that regard, in the UK, uh, we're uh, quite sure that construction will proceed uh, uh, without problem. And with respect to GDA that I explained about earlier, in the GDA process uh, from the UK Office of Nuclear Regulation, uh, uh, we've uh, received uh, information, and uh, uh, the risk uh, that, that we experienced in Fukushima, for example, is reflected, so the risk is uh, small for the UK. Question number three, with respect to risk hedge. At the end of last year, there was a newspaper report uh, with respect to JICA and UK government that those uh, Entities will provide support seen from the outside. Uh, it will be funded mostly through loans, not equity investment. So if there's additional loss incurred from the project, what you will have to take on? Well, you have a three-party collaboration. Let's say that there's additional cost overrun of 10 billion. And uh, as uh, Hitachi, uh, how much do you think uh, you should be taking on? So when there is additional loss or cost overrun, what will be uh, your share of uh, taking that? Well, we're going to remove uh, the project off balance. So not that the cost will directly hit us right away, but where we are responsible, uh, we will have to deal with that, uh, a deal with uh, reduced uh, profit. And we need to have a mechanism uh, to minimize the cost overrun risk. Uh, we're doing that. And we will take necessary measures. So even if there's a cost uh, overrun or cost increase, uh, we would like to make sure that such uh, cost increase is absorbed uh, under the project question. So uh, what is your specific share of responsibility? How are you going to? Uh, share the responsibility. You are making 100% investment in the Horizon project and additional cost overrun to be shared by three parties. What is the ratio or the share uh, of uh, Hitachi's uh, responsibility? In the joint venture consortium, the ratio is still being negotiated. So I cannot give you uh, specific numbers at this moment. Next question, please. A question. Uh, once again, I'd like to ask a question regarding Horizon. I have also another question to follow. You have mentioned uh, about the project uh, being taken off the balance sheet to minimize uh, uh, risk, uh, but uh, you have 1% stake of uh, Horizon. And uh, since it's not uh, the stake, uh, is to be maintained because it is not uh, uh, because of uh, the uh, this framework. Uh, but before the FID, uh, what is your expectation? Do you want to take a majority, more than 50% uh, off balance sheet? Uh, is there a plan? If there is a target, uh, please elaborate. Question, answer. Uh, prior to the FID, uh, we, we would like to take the project uh, off the balance sheet in its entirety. 100%? Uh, answer. Uh, yes. Uh, we, we will maintain a certain share, but uh, we want to make sure it does not, uh, uh, it's not posted on our balance sheet. A uh, question. What uh, will be the stake that you are going to be disposing of? Uh, answer. Uh, the percentage is not important. Uh, the important thing is that uh, we have to take the project uh, off our balance sheet. Uh, question. Regarding Horizon Part 2, Ulperi, uh, what is happening there? 
uh, there is a plan that you have committed to? Is that the case? What is the current status? And so, uh, when we acquired the Horizon, uh, uh, Wellburn and Albany, uh, we had the right uh, to establish a nuclear power plant uh, in these two sites. Uh, there is no change. So you will continue uh, with Albany as well? But Wilfer uh, has uh, um, room for uh, construction. It may not be in the near term. Question, so it's not uh, a formal commitment? Uh, answer, we have uh, a right, and we will exercise the right uh, if needed in the future. Question, regarding nuclear power plant uh, export to India, that is being reported uh, in the media. GE and uh, Hitachi uh, have a joint venture. I think uh, there are six reactors, uh, Westinghouse six and GE Hitachi six. I think that was the breakdown. Uh, when it was reported. But there is uh, uh, the uh, compensation issue that has not been cleared yet. So regarding the six units uh, that has been allocated, uh, what is your stance to, uh, currently? Answer, regarding uh, India, our policy remains unchanged. Uh, there is a nuclear agreement. Uh, uh, the atomic uh, agreement has uh, been um, making significant progress, uh, but uh, there are hurdles that we have to overcome. But uh, our stance has not changed. It has remained intact. Uh, question. So you have a positive view uh, regarding the six units uh, will be maintained. Uh, answer. I don't know if it's six units, but uh, question. What about the liability? Uh, would that have to be re uh, resolved before uh, going forward? Uh, answer. We are a private sector company. So uh, we can only uh, bear uh, what uh, can be borne by a private sector company. There are certain liability that uh, has to be borne by the government as well. So all the conditions have to uh, fall into the right place uh, before we can proceed. Any other questions? Question. I have two questions. Question number one, again about Horizon. So three companies are sharing a joint responsibility. Is that a rare structure or rare mechanism uh, within the nuclear power industry? And how did this come about? And uh, when was this agreed upon? Well, not many projects and overseas as far as nuclear power projects are concerned. In the case of thermal power projects, joint responsibility mechanism, uh, non-fault-based, or rather, fault-based structure. So the parties uh, investment, uh, 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 the parties will be responsible for the investments they're making. Uh, that's the structure in the thermal project. So you uh, set up a building and you deliver equipment into the building. And so not a lot of interaction uh, between the uh, equipment uh, supplier and uh, the project manager. In the case of uh, nuclear power plants, there are closer interactions. Well, usually there's this uh, consortium. The flow of the work is such that EPC is upstream. It comes down gradually, sort of. If there's any problem or failure, whose responsibility is that going to be? There's this gray zone. Well, sometimes it's obvious whose responsibility it is. For example, upstream work uh, done was not sufficient, uh, then it's the responsibility of the operator in the upstream. And uh, so there could be seas of such problems, sources of problems. JGC, Bechtel, and Hitachi, we had uh, close discussions with each other. JGC in uh, oil and gas uh, said that uh, non fault based uh, structure is the norm. And as I said, what is important? is uh, for three parties, three companies, to work uh, in a unified manner. Why are our projects so successful in Japan? Customers, uh, general contractors, and I, uh, we ourselves, Hitachi, are working in a unified manner. That's the key to success. And uh, uh, we thought that in order to achieve something similar, no fault based uh, structure was necessary. Uh, my last uh, question. MHPS. 
I understand that negotiation will continue. What is the current status, if you could please elaborate? Uh, Mr. Ota will answer. So allow me to answer. Before answering, there are two points I would like to mention. Point number one, image APS. Mitsubishi Heavy and Hitachi uh, are working together uh, to build uh, uh, thermal uh, power projects competitive in the world. Uh, so that's how this uh, uh, company was uh, set up. But it's important for Hitachi and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, MHI. Uh, will continue to be a partner uh, for us uh, in various areas. So we look at them as a very important, valued uh, partner. Uh, we would like to continue to work closely with them. So on to your question, what is uh, the progress made so far? Into this year, what we agreed upon uh, at the time of uh, the setup of the company, uh, there's this process to adjust uh, uh, the uh, sales uh, price. Based on that uh, uh, process, uh, uh, we will be reverting back to the process uh, when the businesses were integrated. We're now looking into the details, and uh, detailed uh, uh, data will have to be provided by MHI. Uh, uh, there's additional data to be provided. Otherwise, we won't be able to conduct full analysis. So we will we'll, we'll continue to request MHI to supply additional data as we continue with our negotiation with them. At uh, any rate, uh, from our perspective, as has been the case, uh, uh, we would uh, like to uh, continue making serious efforts so that we can resolve any outstanding issues through negotiations. I hope that answered the question. A question. I have uh, three questions regarding Horizon. Uh, first question is as follows. Uh, from F1, I think uh, uh, the uh, there have been some changes uh, after after Fukushima incident. Uh, uh, things have changed. And uh, now, regarding the safety regulations of uh, the UK, uh, regarding core, uh, there is uh, hardly any change for uh, design change, I believe. Uh, but uh, in order to meet uh, the safety standards of the UK uh, this time. What is the most uh, uh, significant uh, design change? Uh, for example, core catcher, is that required? I don't know what is required. But uh, I think there is about three uh, changes uh, that are requested. Uh, please uh, elaborate uh, further on uh, what other design changes required. Answer. In terms of uh, the core design, that is not uh, what this is about. Uh, it's regarding the power uh, supply, uh, the peripheral of power supply, mainly. Takeda san, would you like to address that? Yes, I would like to respond. Uh, let me elaborate. In the UK, as well as in Japan, uh, it isn't as if uh, regulations differ significantly. Uh, in the US, uh, after 3.11, uh, because of uh, ter anti-terrorism measures uh, against terrorist attacks, uh, for example, the airplane uh, 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 crashing in or uh, people with malicious intent uh, should be uh, prevented uh, from entering. So uh, that is uh, the changes in regulation. And uh, after Fukushima, uh, against uh, major uh, natural disasters, we have to make sure uh, that uh, uh, the uh, shutdown can be made in a safe manner for nuclear power plants. Uh, Arriva uh, struggled uh, in uh, Finland and in the US, NRC, and uh, Japanese uh, uh, regulatory regulation, ONR, uh, in the uh, UK. All these uh, regulatory authorities uh, are uh, aligning their regulations, uh, making sure uh, that uh, they can withstand. Uh, the uh, natural disasters uh, having three separate lines uh, in terms of power or redundancy or have uh, more water re injection capabilities. Uh, these are the um, the common requirements uh, required. OMR uh, is uh, also following suit. And uh, on their part, the safety of people has been emphasized by this authority. So these are the major uh, requirements. 
because of the measures uh, uh, given the 9-11 as well as 11 and uh, Japanese regula uh, regulatory authorities are also following suit. Uh, after 3-11, I think it's the meltdown that is the major point. Uh, so uh, the structure should uh, take into consideration the meltdown or is it uh, the prevention of meltdown, uh, which is the case? Answer, both. Uh, try to prevent uh, meltdown and uh, if it is to occur, uh, the uh, measures against uh, meltdown uh, is also considered. Because I think if you are going to assume meltdown, uh, the structure is going to change significantly. Core catcher uh, could uh, be required uh, or the water injection facilities uh, could uh, uh, be increased. Uh, question, is this going to lead to incremental cost? Uh, compared to um, the conventional reactor, in terms of, as a, in terms of hardware, it will differ from manufacturer to manufacturer. Uh, but uh, what you are concerned about, uh, major uh, losses, uh, is what you are concerned about. Uh, this is not uh, regarding uh, design, or, uh, 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 but uh, rather the labor cost uh, is very significant. So uh, the uh, delay, delay in the project uh, is uh, the most uh, significant. Uh, in terms of the safety system, obviously we have to make this uh, stronger. Uh, but uh, basically, that is not going to lead to significant uh, incremental cost. Question two. Uh, I'm talking about the, the project delays. According to plan, uh, 2019, uh, the approval should be granted, and uh, uh, in 2024, it should be commissioned. That is uh, the plan so far. In the case of Japan, uh, it would be the fastest record. Uh, 36 months uh, for a nuclear reactor, but uh, at any rate, uh, you're contemplating a very short period of time. Uh, if uh, there is to be a delay in the process, so how are you going to manage the risk? Uh, and uh, furthermore, Vector, uh, up until the 70s, uh, they had about the 150 track record. Uh, that is true. Uh, but uh, Vector, uh, after 2000, uh, have they ever uh, been involved in EPC of a commercial reactor? Uh, answer. Regarding 2024, that is not the case. Uh, it's longer than Japanese construction period. Uh, when is it going to start uh, uh, operation? Answer? Uh, uh, 2020 plus, uh, around uh, the middle of uh, 2020s. You said 24. Yep, but I said 24. So it's uh, from the 1st of uh, 2025 before that. Uh, so I'm thinking that uh, this could be December uh, of uh, 2024. Uh, answer, it is longer than Japan. So it should be 25 or 6. Answer, uh, it is still under negotiation. It isn't as if uh, we can give you uh, details uh, uh, here. And uh, question, uh, how are you going to hedge risk uh, if there were to be a, a delay? What is your plan B? Answer. Now, going forward, uh, uh, there will be various uh, operations that will be required. Uh, but uh, it is a mature design. That is the first and foremost uh, uh, point to consider. And uh, we are taking a longer period uh, because it's the UK. And at any rate, uh, the system will be subject to verification going forward. And construction uh, locally is going to be very important uh, with the Hitachi and Bechtel and uh, the uh, local contractors. Uh, Hitachi plan to construction that will be consolidated and uh, uh, Japanese general contractors uh, will be involved in workshops so, so that uh, we can work out the details and uh, we will uh, leave uh, also uh, account for a buffer. Uh, question, what about Bechdel's uh, uh, track record uh, after 2000 in terms of nuclear power plants? Answer, in 1980s uh, there was a suspension but they have uh, resumed and last year uh, uh, Watspa uh, has uh, restarted. 
and uh, it's a PWR plant. It's not ABWR. Question, does that mean that they have uh, knowledge in this area? Yes, thank you. The time has come to bring this uh, session to a close. Thank you very much. Thank you.